Hello everyone, we are back with another episode here with the book club online with the book 40 Secrets for the Single Woman. Well, we've already spoke about throughout these months about many things, many tips, and we haven't even gotten halfway yet to the 40 secrets, 40 tips that we have uh, hidden there for you guys. And I wanted to talk about something today that maybe for you it seems kind of silly, but that it's very important. And I'm even going to make a challenge today with you to prove that which I'm talking about today, what I'm going to speak about today. Well, sometimes you worry so much. You think that you need to have money that to be, you know, putting on accessories for you to be in the hair salon, for you to be doing so many things to buy expensive clothing, you know, to dress well. You need you think that that is very important to give you that up to call attention of your of the guy or of somebody. You think that that's something super important, but today I'm going to give you a tip of an accessory that is natural that you have and that many times you don't use. Who knows if you use that accessory for that person that up there is going to be the somebody who's going to be together with you, right? And that accessory is your smile have you ever stopped to look in the mirror and you looked serious and then after you smiled and then you notice that when you smile you look even prettier you know that our reflex is to react the same way for example if you encounter someone that turns their face to you you also want to turn your face if someone treats you bad you also want to treat them bad that's just our instinct and i learned that you could change that mirror if you're vigilant of course I smile, I seek to be pleasant, and sometimes, many times, a person, they they were in a bad mood, they, were, they probably were going to treat me bad, but because I smiled at them and I was kind to them, I didn't reflect that treatment that they gave. I went against it. Uh, you see that people change their behaviors completely. And if you never notice that, make a test. When a person sees you that way, you don't reflect the treatment that they're giving you. Do the contrary. Do what's good and use your smile. You know, I when I was still... I wasn't even an assistant. I was just arriving to church, right? And sometimes when I would arrive to church, um, I, I I didn't know the church here in Brazil. It was out there in another country. And they were different types of people. And what would happen? Sometimes I would arrive because, you know, people from Rio being that person that is more... More open, you know, always smiling. And over there, it was the contrary. So sometimes I would come with a smile and I would get back a stank face. I took that for me and I started to perceive how important it is sometimes on a day for a person to receive a smile from someone. Sometimes... People would arrive all angry and you come with a smile for them and you come together with that smile. You bring kindness. It's the kindness of a smile. It's the kindness of you saying, oh, look, you want to sit here? Or the kindness of you complimenting, of you saying good morning, good afternoon, good evening, hello. That makes a person shine in the eyes of other people many times especially nowadays you know where people they they're not really worried with another they're worried about themselves they're worried about oh i'm gonna sit here and they're they're not even worried oh there's somebody next to me i'm gonna compliment that person but their head it's so they're so focused on them on their lives that 
they forget those type of things that is a smile together with kindness of a compliment of a hello good morning good afternoon man is that very hard no it's not but perhaps for you that is used to always being mm. with that face it's gonna be hard for you because you're gonna feel fake you're gonna feel oh i'm not gonna do that but of course you don't need to be with that smile you could just remember oh hello and smile a, a soft smile it doesn't have to be always smiley but you can be giving that soft smile and sometimes even change the day of a person so here is a tip for today for you especially who is single who you live with that stank face you live in that your little world and it's so important for you to be pleasant because that pleasantness makes our god shine it makes show the God that is inside of us, if he abides in you, if he doesn't abide, then you already know you're going to need to go a couple chapters back so that you can understand how important it is for you to have the baptism of the Holy Spirit, first of all, so that then you could uh, seek in your love life. And so today, uh, here is a tip for you that, you know, uh, Movies use that a lot. Romantic films, right? You who like to see them, watch them. Have you noticed that the girl, especially in the beginning, right? When she needs to be presented to the public, she's always like doing something good. She's always saving an old lady. She's uh, doing something good for a little kid or she's helping somebody. The girl is always, you know, being kind and always with a smile on her face. So then what about you? You also be that girl of that movie, the movie of your life. You be that main character. The exterior part is important at first sight, right? The person saw the first sight, but there's no exterior pretty exterior part that sustains an ugly interior there's no uh, you know that ugly interior he's going to turn off the beauty of a pretty person so there is something that you can do to uh, bring even more beauty so much for your interior like for your exterior as well and our tip for today is to say no to that stank face that you've had and that you've given right start smiling start observing yourself so that you won't feel fake and you're not gonna be in the street you're all smiling to everybody no you need to choose correctly the moments the situations but start paying attention and never ever reflect negative attitudes of other people if they treat you bad treat them good do the contrary don't do the same if they didn't smile then you smile you talk to them you are pleasant and that person surely is going to feel all of that inside of them that was so dark they're gonna see a light coming to their life okay so then we stop here today and next week we'll be back in the book club online here in this same channel bye bye